Mom? Good morning, darling. Are you alone? I, uh, I thought I heard voices. If that means is Dawn gone, the answer is yes. Well, you don't have to be so. Direct? I felt it was necessary. But if you think Dawn's gonna pop out of a box somewhere, forget it. She's already gone back to the ranch with her grandmother. Thank goodness. Well, I, I, I mean, when, when I saw she had spent the night here, I was afraid it might be the beginning of a more permanent arrangement. Well, in a way, you're right. It is. But not the way you're thinking, Mom. Dennis, Dennis, I know you think you're in love with Look, her. Look, Mom, I have every intention of... Don't you see what she has done to you? She's made me happy. She's poisoned your mind. No. What you mean is that she's affected my attitude toward Alex Wheeler. And that hasn't pleased you. Is that it? Yes. I think she's done more than just affect your attitude, though. I think she's turned your mind completely against him, and that's absurd, Dennis. Is it? Mike Marshall is dead because of him. Is that a fact? Yes, it is. And it's a fact that you can't deny. Because... You're denying the facts, Dennis, not I. The facts are that it was the revolution in Tankir that led Mr. Marshall to his suicide, not Alex. Now, you cannot hold Alex responsible for the revolution in Tankir. I don't. I don't blame him for that. Well, then what is it? The fact that he didn't meet with Mike at Victoria Bellman's yes. party? Yes. Yes, exactly. And then he made Mike come crawling to him for the second time, Mom. For the second time. And then he deserted him. You can blame me for that. Oh, come on, Mom. I asked him, Dennis. He told me he left the party because he feared seeing me again for the first time in 25 years. Look, Mom. I love you. I think you're a beautiful and wonderful woman. But I can't believe that the prospect of meeting any woman would make a businessman like Alex Wheeler completely forget a multi-million dollar bankruptcy meeting. That is absolutely preposterous. No, it isn't. You just don't understand. Explain. I don't know how. You say you love Dawn. Well, Alex and I were the same age you and she are now when we met in Saint Tropez. How would you feel if the Dawn who was here with you last night suddenly just disappeared from your life and then just as suddenly reappeared 25 years from now? You think you would find a business meeting so terribly important? Is that really the way it was? Yes. And I guess I do understand. And you see why he's so important to me now? Yeah. But, Mom, um, what do you expect me to do? Ignore my feelings for the sake of yours? No, but perhaps you could look at him more charitably in the future. See him as he, as he really is, not through someone else's eyes. I love you, Mom. <laughs> And if Alex Wheeler is what makes you happy, then I won't interfere with that. All right? Oh, Dennis. There are so many things the three of us can do together. No, Mom. Don't expect to see too much of me in the future. Oh, honey, your future. Alex can help you no, so Mom, much. No, Mom. I don't want an office at the top of the world building. Why not? Because I have other plans. Oh, Dennis. No, oh, Dennis, me. I'm going to buy this gallery and I'm going to make a living here. 
Oh, what kind of living can you make from this? A good living. A living? A way that I can support myself and my wife? Your wife? That's right, my wife. Don and I plan to get married, Mom. Oh, no, Dennis. Oh, no. You can't. You just... You just can't marry that child. Can't? Come on, Mom. I'm going to get married. But to Dawn Marshall? That's right, to Dawn Marshall. Because I need her and she needs me, and what neither one of us needs is your opinion of her. Dennis, calm down. I only want what's best for you. I think I can handle that. Why don't you think about something else? Think about you and Alex Wheeler. I'll make a deal with you. I'll spare you my opinion of your little romance with Alex Wheeler if you'll spare me your opinion of my affairs. Dennis, please, Dennis, don't just turn away. I love you. I can't pretend you don't matter to me. What you think of Alex does matter more than you know. Look, he may be big in your life, but I don't want or need him in mine. If only you'd get to know Alex for what he is, not what someone else says he is. Don is wrong about him. Give Alex a chance to clear up this misunderstanding. Give all of us a chance. Dennis, just talk to him, please. You're right about one thing, Mom. It is very important to me that you're happy. Thank you, darling. But this meeting with Alex Wheeler, I know it's going to be awkward. I mean, what am I going to say? It's nice to meet you, Mr. Wheeler. And oh, by the way, I think what you did to the Marshall family stinks. Oh, Dennis. Are you sure you have your facts straight regarding Alex and the Marshalls? Yes, I have my facts straight. Dawn told me everything I need to know. Has she really? You have only seen Alex through Dawn's eyes. And she's rather nearsighted as far as he's concerned, isn't she? You know something? Your view seems the same to me. You sound like the old Dennis of Bay City. Not the young man who came to Houston to grow up, to make his own way, to form his own judgments about people. Look, Mom, I don't need a lecture from you, particularly on judging people. This is a difficult time in both our lives. I'm not sure where either of us is heading. But I don't want us to take roads that could separate us forever. It's true I've always been frightened of your independence. You're leaving me. I guess I'm relying on you to hold us together. Well, maybe it'd be better for both of us if we weren't so together. What would we have if we didn't have each other? I'd have Dawn Marshall. And you? You'd have Alex Wheeler. Please, let me call Alex. Say you'll try to give him a fair hearing. 